The ergonomic for fall 2018 is a completely different tool than what we're used to in the past. Whereas the previous generation of the Ergo was really designed for steep dry tooling, uh, the ergonomic was designed to really cross over from steep ice all the way into dry tooling and mixed climbing. It's a much more functional tool for those scenarios. What we start with is a new dry pick uh, that's delivered with this particular tool for this year. The dry pick has uh, the, uh, a more aggressive teeth at the very top of the pick, uh, making it ideal for stein pulling or putting it into cammed positions between the pick and the head here. It also works really well when topping out at the top of the, uh, of the climbs, giving us better purchase. The pick itself tapers from 4 millimeters at the top to 3.2 millimeters at the tip. It's a slightly taller tip than what we have on the pure ice, and the chamfers on the edge here is 45 degrees versus 60 degrees, so a little less steep. Um, making this pick a little bit stiffer so when we're torquing on it in cracks, gives us a much more rigid pick in those scenarios there. Delivered with the new mass slots, the new mass slots are tapered from the top to the bottom, narrow at the bottom, as well as from the back to front. That taper gives us a great way to jam the tool into cracks, giving us excellent purchase in those situations. And then when we get to softer snow, it gives us better purchase as well, so it doesn't pull through as easily. As we move to the new head to shaft connection with the new nylon inserts, remember this is giving us 50% more strength. This is gonna be a much more durable tool over time. Delivered with the mini marteau, uh, this mini hammer now is actually wider and actually more protective for the head. It's also giving us a great way to place pitons, clear out chossy rock or our rotten ice when we were climbing roots. The shaft uses the same hydroform shaft, giving us more rigidity than we've had in the past. A great indexed mid shaft grip, so again for plunging into snow for low angle couloirs. And the new over molded nylon insert in the upper grip replaces the grip tape, so for a more durable upper grip and a cleaner look is, and feel as well. Uh, the grip itself is completely different than what we see on the Gnomic. So this new offset grip is giving us a steeper overall grip at the very lower grip itself, um, offsetting it for steep terrain and giving us a more comfortable grip in those scenarios here. The way to think of this is that in this particular tool, when it's in really steep terrain, all four fingers are roughly getting the same equal amount of pressure, whereas on the Gnomic, you're really slightly steeper, and that means that most of the pressure is on the lower three fingers, not as much on the upper finger as well. When we get to the grip rest at the very bottom of the tool, what you'll notice is it's the same wide overmolded grip rest, but it's missing the pick here at the bottom. Both of these grip rests, the grip rest nomic and the grip rest ergonomic, are interchangeable. So should you want to actually connect a V-Link's tool retention system on the new ergonomics, you can actually buy the, ergo, uh, the nomic uh, grip rest and apply it to this particular tool. These are interchangeable between both tools. They are not retrofitable to the previous generations of the tools. What you'll also notice is the lower grip on the new ergonomic is actually completely different than on the gnomic. We don't have any cutouts here at the bottom. It's actually slightly wider here, and it's actually even flatter on the very front of the grip. Um, the width and the solidness of this particular grip here is giving us more friction all the way around, and it's actually more comfortable in the hand when really hanging from the tool. What we found in field testing was that the comfort of this particular grip versus the hollowed out grip that we have in the Gnomic made a huge difference. It has a better grip um, as far as the friction goes, and it's less uh, harsh on the hand. So overall, the new ergonomic is really creating a tool that's going to make it difficult for high-end climbers to decide between should we get the gnomic, which is a pure ice specialist, or the ergonomic, which is great for steeper ice, mixed and dry tooling.